I'm joined on the line by Gillian Woolman from Risk Benefit Solutions. She's going to talk to us about an act that will soon be implemented, and this act will see the protection of our personal information. Gillian, thanks so much for joining us today. Now, many South Africans don't realize that this is actually legislated for, or will be soon. Introduce us to this act. Sure. So, um, the, pro the protection of personal information known as POPI Act restricts how companies handle personal data to safeguard individuals from security breaches. Um, the pro protection of personal information was signed into law in November 2013. However, the actual commencement date of the Act is still to be determined. South Africa is still in the process of appointing a regulator to look over the implementation of POPI. Um, once the regulator is established, companies that experience cyber breaches could face heavy fines. Um, from this date, organizations will have one year to demonstrate compliance with the legislation. Um, and a lot of companies have already started and some have um, completed their um, programs for readiness of P's effective date. Um, but what has come become apparent is that the amount of work required in achieving public compliance is often underestimated by companies. At this point, do we have any type of idea of when the Act will be implemented? They say um, by the end of the year, however, it has been going on for quite a while, um, so we're not too sure at this stage. What happens at the moment if you give your information over to a, com a company? I think many people think of the Ashley Madison breach and your information is accessed um, in an illegal manner or in an unfair manner, do you have any recourse before Puppy sets in? Absolutely. Um, cyber attacks are growing, a growing risk in, in the business in South Africa as well as globally. Um, and predictions are made that within the next three years, the fruits of cyber crime will outweigh the fruits of, of white collar crime. Um, and it's important that these companies show that they're doing what they need to um, so that a breach doesn't happen. Um, because when puppy comes in effect, obviously they will have been, they are now regulated and have to, um, you know, answer to the, to the regulator. regulator. Um, and as I said, most businesses are considerably unprepared for cyber liability risks and they're either underinsured or, un, um, or not insured when it comes to managing the financial and legal implications following um, the cyber breach. I think this is so interesting because many businesses, small businesses, especially in South Africa, are insured for their physical assets, but perhaps haven't thought of insuring themselves against cyber crime and especially insuring themselves against any, anything that could be stolen um, online from their customers. Tell us about the importance of, of insurance. Absolutely. Holding data is no longer um, just a nice to have. Holding data is actually a huge risk now. Gillian, can you tell us what would happen um, or what the recourse could be for a consumer whose personal information has been breached after they handed over that personal information to a firm? So um, many, many small businesses are unaware of the high risk to data breaches in the belief that hackers are more likely to attack corporates with high revenues. Um, more than ever, companies store sensitive information on their systems. Um, but a startling amount of the small business have not invested in systems to try and combat these cyber criminals as well as taken out the necessary insurance to fight the devastating effect of cyber um, attack um, one, can have, one can have on one's business. So really, regardless of the size of the company industry, um, they must take secure and valuable data as possibly a cyber attacks um, and protect it um, as much as they can. Gillian, often what happens when you share your information with a particular firm um, is that your information then gets shared to various other marketing agencies or other businesses without your consent. What is, what is your rights? What are your rights in this type of situation? Can you specify to um, a business that you don't want your information shared? Absolutely you can um, and that's where Poppy comes in is that they're actually regulated as, as to how they um, can share that information and how companies need to hand guard, um, um, safeguard those individuals details so that they um, cannot be breached um, and, and shared across the network. 
Gillian, thank you so much for helping us make sense of Puppy. And as soon as it's implemented, I'm sure we'll be speaking again. Thank you very much.